Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you today out of the Seahawks playbook. Uh, this playbook here is a very popular playbook. I get a ton of requests for this every year. Uh, and to me, it's one of the biggest ebooks that I've put out so far this year. It's definitely a book that I recommend for people that are asked for recommendations when it comes to my books. The Seahawks is probably one of the best as far as balance, but it's also got some of the most unique passing plays in the entire game. I already highlighted one out of the Gun Empty Hawk in the game. Play. I put out a play about the, the Hawk slot post. That's a play I'm pretty sure that I, I, I made a separate video about that as well uh, to break it down and show what it can do uh, because it really home runs a lot of defenses. That's a play you really can't find in a lot of other playbooks just like the play I'm going to show you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be in the formation of the gun trade where I flex a lot of these plays might look familiar but there's some very uh, unique differences when it comes to the Seahawks variation and the first play I'm going to show is the Hawks fade smash and I know a lot of people know the fade smash play probably from a couple years back uh, it's something that I put out probably in like Madden 18. Uh, this is not the same play as that. This is very, very different and it all really stems from what the tight end is doing. So the first thing I'm going to do on just about every variation I show you is block the running back. He's not really doing anything. And if I block the running back, you can see how the tight end being on a corner route is really going to help in a lot of the, the plays, you know, setups that I show you. I'm pretty much every time going to put that, that corner route on a, on a smart route too, which is really going to help. So like I said, I'm starting off against cover two. Against cover two, you don't really have to make any adjustments. The Y route is a really good cover two uh, concept if you throw it at the right time. That one I actually threw a little bit early. But you can see the coverage is a little bit tight to that guy. So what I want to do nine times out of ten is I want to put the X route on a smoke so he doesn't come out of his break at all. And that's going to make that route a little bit easier to get, uh, to get the Y route above it. As you can see right there, it's pretty interesting it and it's something you can steal all game especially against cover two but against cover two I'm gonna move the ball to the sideline to show you guys there's really two explosive routes when it comes to cover two and that's going to be the B route and the Y route so blocking that once again smoking the X route that's pretty much all you really have to do um, I still find putting the A route on a on a smart route every time is going to be the best way because like I said that's really what makes this specifically different and now you got the B route which is going to be huge right up the middle uh, as well because that safety really can't choose between the two because they're both threatening in his area so you can see I mean if I if I, I don't really have to do anything with the A route like I said that's not really important I don't really have to block the running back either because it's so quick how fast this gets up the alley and then like I said this one right here the user can drop into the middle I know this year that the users are a lot slower and a lot of people don't really know uh, the trick that if you put your, your user on a blitz that he changes direction faster and stuff like that um, so a lot of people won't be able to use your back this fast uh, but that's I mean even though th that I'm hitting this right over the top that's a mid read a lot of times the linebacker or safety whatever in that mid read should still be able to drop back and take this away but based off of the uh, how fast this this happens I guess the the mid read doesn't even really work so even on plays where there's a mid read here this B route is just smoking it I mean he's not even close there's a lot of plays where the mid read will take that away this play is not one of them it just smokes right down the middle there Typically how I use this play a lot online though is I don't always, I don't really want to challenge the user unless I think that I have a shot. I'll, I'll typically take the safe bet and just hit the Y route outside because to be honest with you, you can get going with that just as much if you have a fast receiver. What makes this play special uh, though is against cover three and cover two man, which I'll show you next. Uh, is this is a very explosive play against both of those defenses as well and a big part of it is going to be uh, I mean a lot of a lot of defenses or a lot of one play touchdowns against cover three are like plays where the where the receivers crossing the middle and has to get to the other side that takes too long I want explosive cover three plays that go right up the seam and this is going to be a play just like that now there's a couple different ways you can run it and uh, hopefully I'll have time to put a little bit of a montage at the beginning of this video of how I use it one of the ways that I use is I motion this guy across, I put him on a streak, I put the A route on a streak, and I put the B route on a streak uh, and block the running back. This is one way to do it. It's a super simple read. Uh, if you do it this way, you can also like give yourself a slant and check down or something like that uh, so you're not all or nothing on the play. But ultimately, the B route here is going to get right up the seam instantly, uh, which is really one of the, the, the ways that I, when I hit home runs against cover three, that's how I want to hit them. 
I don't like cover three plays where you have to wait for a, a, a receiver to cross the middle. It gives your opponent time to drop back into that lane. I really like to just hit explosive cover threes right up the seam. And you can see that this is definitely going to do that. So, like I said, there's really nothing to that. You just have to wait for that cornerback to bite just like a lot of cover threes. And I'll go to the replay to show that real quick. But you can see how quick and easy and explosive this play is. So, just to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to this cover three cornerback, a lot of times if you throw it too early, like right here, he'll make a play on that. He'll get back against that even though you already have, obviously, you know, pass leading space to the outside. So, you really have to wait for him to commit a little bit. And then once he, he bites to take away this short shorter out that's when I'm probably throwing the ball right as you can see I'm already I'm already gearing up so like I said you're just watching that corner the second that cornerback bites boom I'm getting the ball out of my hand pass leading and bullying away and you can see it's a really easy explosive play now there's a second way to run this uh, so that you're you know you can mix it up you're not showing your hand if you hit a home run against your opponent one time running it they're gonna be looking for that same motion so if you make that same motion again with the receiver they're gonna say okay I know where this ball is going they're gonna use it so there's two ways to do this the second way to do this is going to be by motioning across the running back put the running back out because ultimately to make this play successful you have to make that safety move in the center of the field right there you can see how this moves him across makes him a single high safety now you're gonna have success again if you don't move him you can't make that throw so streaking the B route once again streaking the RB route uh, like I said the A route I typically want to streak him now we're kind of doing the same variation where everybody's on streaks and then all you have to do is put the X route on a drag so this is your look you have a check down with the X route as well uh, which is nice you don't have to create a check down with the running back or the tight end uh, and this is pretty much the look the, the drag will get that guy out of position and then you can see we're just going right over the top it's a very similar concept to another play i put out of the saints array this year i think it was the saints drag against cover two man this is an explosive play as well there's not a ton of cover two uh one play touchdowns when it comes to man but this is going to be one of them if you get the right defense if your opponent matches personnel which is like a three they'll see a three wide receiver set they typically come out in like a nickel or something like that you're going to get the matchup that you want because this receiver over here or this tight end rather is off the line a lot of times he's going to basically take up the cornerback on that man coverage because he's off the line he's not really a tight end at this point he's basically a receiver so in that scenario he'll keep one of the top corners on that side and if you get that matchup where there's a cornerback on that side you're going to have the b route here covered by um, a linebacker which ultimately is going to be an explosive you know that's going to be explosive for you so all i'm really going to do is put the a route on a smart route block the running back one more time and that's all we really have to do i can put the x route on a drag or a slant uh, give myself a check down because that's the only thing that's really not being used this is going to be your setup right here and then, like i said if i get the matchup that i want that b route is going to be gone right over the top as you can see i mean we get we split the safeties because of what the other receivers are doing and he's just going to beat that one on one so now i'm in a dime which is you know once again like i said even if people want to try to match this you can still have that effect because you can see right here the b route destroys the press and now you can see he's still an explosive one play touchdown so even if you have a cornerback which is typically going to be like the fourth cornerback or you know it's not typically going to be the best cornerback because of where this guy's positioned in the slot you can still get that look and it really all comes down to the press animation it really it's the only thing that really matters is does he beat that press off the line and you can see right here he's getting that a lot of times and then i can just bullet pass it over the top so if you get a cover two, even with a cornerback, I know people in the comment section might want to say, well, he's going against a linebacker. But even against a cornerback, you can see, if they, even if you spread him out and they come out in something cornerback heavy, you can still get one play touchdowns against his defense very easily. Against cover one man, which will also get quite a bit, or cover zero, say they're blitzing with no safety help over the top, um, you can still have a lot of success with those defenses as well. Same setup. I'm not going to leave myself a check down here. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, I mean, if I really want to, I can put the A route on a slant to put the A route on a drag or something. That'd probably make the most sense for a check down. But ultimately, uh, it's all about how the Y route beats his press now. So if the Y route um, gets off of his jam, like I said, it doesn't really matter what man coverage you run. You're going to have something that beats pretty much all those coverages. But you have to put the X route on a smoke, otherwise he'll get in the way and he'll help the, the defender get his jam. But like I said, if he gets off of this, you're just floating it up. And this is also a really big play. So like I said, if it was a cover zero, there'd be no safety help out there. But since it's a cover one, there is somebody. But ultimately, it's not going to stop the completion from happening. So whether it's cover one, cover two, cover zero, man, all that, it really just depends on whether they can beat this press. And then you can see you can have some really big plays 
plays over the top, especially if you have a fast receiver like the Seahawks have in Tyler Lockett. So I'm going to go to in the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Seahawks, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.